And if uh, if you're just joining us, by the way, you're watching KTTV Fox 11. This is the uh, Fox 11 News at noon, and we have been following a uh, a bank robbery that started at uh, that I believe happened at about at 10:08, 10 10 yeah. a little bit after 10, and then a pursuit from all the way up in Canyon Country, all the way down to South LA near the major intersection of Vernon and Vermont. Uh, and uh, once it stopped after these bank robbers were uh, throwing cash out of the windows. Uh, it really got out of hand. It lasted about 80 minutes, the actual uh, chase we're for saying, these suspects. We're saying four suspects there. That may or may not be the case on the screen. Uh, I think that's the, the, the question right now is if they have two in custody, how many more are on the loose? You know, Jeff, just as another observation from a law enforcement standpoint, uh, three peculiarities in this pursuit stand out. Uh, both were occurring during the pursuit and, of course, at the end. Number one, a very large number of suspects involved in this bank robbery. We don't normally see five suspects right. taking a bank down. Usually it's one or two, so what's up with that? Number two, the money was being thrown out. And then number three, there was no resistance from the suspects at the end of this pursuit. They didn't want to get hurt. My, my suspicion is, and this is just a suspicion, that uh, there, there could be more, more involved in this in the way of a social statement on this particular bank robbery. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Tell you what, that would be a first, at least here in Los Angeles in the 20-something years I've, I've been reporting. Uh, but wouldn't put it past them. You're right. Uh, we're watching tape once again, uh, just following the end of this pursuit when these suspects uh, were arrested and put in the back of the cars. And because there were so many people glomming onto the cash and trying to get into the, into the scene of the arrest, uh, the sheriff's department, L.A. County Sheriff, got those guys in the back of the car as fast as as possible. Now you see officers just talking to people, trying to get them to leave. This is at a point after the arrest where there was no skirmish line. There was, all the police were doing was just talking to people. But more and more people came out, more and more pushing, more and more shoving as they're trying to protect that car. And that's when the LAPD was called in and things got a little dicey. At one point, um or at any point, Jim, will we find out? Because typically we're just never told how much is taken in a bank robbery. Right? When we were seeing that much money being tossed out the windows, do you think uh, that? They generally don't release the exact amount, you know, because they don't they don't want that to be publicized. But uh, I would say there was probably several thousands of dollars. You know, yeah. another observation that I had as as, as Jeff was t was speaking there was, you know, one of the suspects was wearing a shirt and a tie. Uh, the other ones were all dressed Good in traditional, traditional T-shirts and things. Th this just, there's something about this that, uh, that I, I really believe that the investigation, the, the aftermath of this is going to be very interesting to the public. Without a doubt. We, uh, we have Bob DeCastro still on the ground. Bob. Yeah, I just want to update you guys really quickly on the, the situation here. First of all, I, I have to tell you, again, it is uh, stabilizing uh, even further as uh, time goes by. The police tape now on uh, Vermont and Vernon here, uh, that uh, is one of the perimeters that, that they have set up here. And it does look at least in this area, we're between Vermont and Menlo, this area is getting freed up. You see some of the cars are, are, are getting through here. Just a, just a short while ago, I'm not sure if you saw our picture there, but we had some paramedics that were coming through here. I had some people coming through here telling me that there were a couple of people, I don't know exactly how many, but there were a couple of people who were treated for some injuries, possibly some minor injuries. They told me that they had uh, some oxygen masks on them. They, they told me that these were elderly people, but, but possibly because there were so many people out there. There was a lot of pushing and shoving. Uh, there might have been some people that were pushed around. I don't think any of the injuries here are major, but nonetheless, they have some paramedics here on the uh, on the scene responding to that. Yeah, we have that on Sky Fo up at Skyfox. We're looking at a gurney right now. Okay. And I, and I also want to be careful because we, we do talk about people who, as the uh, officials here, do confirm that there were some people who were trying to get to the money. Certainly, there might have been uh, some individuals who were trying to do that. And again, there were also some people here because it was such a chaotic scene here. Certainly, the entire neighborhood came out just to see what was going on, crowding around, taking a look. Very few officers were here when this came to a pursuit. I mean, in, in relation to the number of people who were out here on the street. So it was just for that many officers there which seemed like an uncontrollable situation and that's when they called for all of that backup and we saw that massive response response by all of the authorities in the area not just from LA County Sheriff's Department but the LAPD University Police Park Police uh, school police you name it coming to this area and it looks like oh, the situation has at this point somewhat stabilized yeah in fact uh, I don't know if you're working with our photographer Tony Vitita but he texted me and said that the uh, the officers that I saw were from USC so 
Um, mm -hmm. You know, obviously, kudos to the USC Police Department for joining in and helping out. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw those guys blow by too, and uh, again, of the I should say the termination of this pursuit. This was complete gridlock. It was bumper to bumper all the way down, pot, three blocks away from here. Uh, you could only walk down to the scene. There were cars bumper to bumper and the streets were completely packed. And again, we're talking about uh, Vernon between Kansas and Vermont, kind of the, the main focal point for where it ended. Uh, two to 300 people, according to one officer, estimated to be in that area, kind of swarming uh, the area after okay. the arrest and applauding. Uh, do you have someone there for us, Bobby? Uh, just someone who yep. came to the scene here very quickly in a, in a big hurry and uh, a woman who's screaming, that was my son, that was my son, and she's uh, running through uh, the scene here. And she's going to quickly get to that, she's quickly going to get to that uh, police tape over there and I, I, I don't think they're going to let her, her we, through. She's going to have to go through some of the officers there. Can we see her? Can you see her? From, can we go? Yeah, I, she's, she's gotten pretty far away now, oh, okay. probably about a block away towards, towards, towards Vermont. But... Uh, you know, I, I, you can only glean that she believes that one of the suspects or one of the, the individuals in that vehicle was uh, her son. Well, and as we typically know in most pursuits, uh, they do tend to end up in and around an area that is familiar to the suspects, and it certainly felt like that today. Uh, they were um, in this area for a good 20 minutes or so, kind of circling, throwing the cash, okay. and, and it, we saw the emotion at the one car when someone was arrested. And uh, now you're seeing more emotion, Lisa, because what's happening here is the fire department's trying to treat someone for whatever it might be. They could have slipped and fall, they could, it could be uh, stress, and the people around the person on the gurney are angry. And now the LAPD is trying to defuse that situation. Yeah. You know, a lot of times there, it's just a, you prime a situation. Something happens that gives people license to allow all other, you know, a flurry of frustrations to come out. It may not have anything to do with the money or the bank robbery or the arrest, but the crowd itself can incite other issues. And, you know, obviously there's there's even more passion going on here. Well, Bobby, you're there now. We've all been at the end of, of high-speed chases in neighborhoods where things have started to feel uncomfortable because this chases do end in neighborhoods that are familiar to the suspects. Just and you're on the ground. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, just a quick look here, guys. You see someone that's uh, on shot a gurney there being put into a uh, into uh, one go. of the ambulances there. From what I, there's a lady, the mother. Now, I, I, I spoke to someone else who was also with that uh, mother, a woman who said that that was my son, who ran to the scene here. And she tells me that her son had been hit by one of the officers here on the scene, that he was not one of the suspects, that he was just uh, one of the, the, the passersbys or the, the looky-loos here that was on the street and for some reason hit by one of those officers and now taken away by the ambulance. As I said, when I got here, um, it was uh, it was quite scary. You know, these, these officers had, had their uh, less than lethal weapons out there uh, and, and they were telling people to go back. Some were not answering or responding to those officers and uh, you know it looks like it looks like the officers at, at some point took action on some of uh, the individuals who here who are on the street and, and just to orient everybody for our viewers I think what you're seeing now is an aerial shot of the same scene that Bob was showing you from his position so uh, you saw that person being put into the back of the ambulance and uh, and now it's going it's going to be it's going to get out of there I would I would assume